GCSE Chemistry Core Practical. Looking at the impact of changing temperature on the rate of thiosulfate colour change. This is the reaction of sodium thiosulfate and dilute hydrochloric acid, which produces sodium chloride in solution, water, sulphur dioxide gas, and a precipitate of sulphur. Starting by placing 50 centimeters cubed of sodium thiosulfate into a conical flask. Then placing the conical flask into a water bath and leaving it for the temperature to reach equilibrium. We're using a digital thermometer to keep track of the temperature of the water bath. Now we need to pipette out five centimetres cubed of dilute hydrochloric acid and place that in the water bath to reach temperature two. So the first reaction between sodium thiosulfate and dilute hydrochloric acid is going to take place at 70 degrees centigrade. The sulphur formed produces a cloudy yellow precipitate and it is this precipitate that we're going to use to time the reaction, the formation of this precipitate. A black cross is drawn on a sheet of paper and placed under the conical flask. As the reaction proceeds, the sulphur formed obscures the cross, and once the cross is obscured, you stop the stopwatch. So, mixing the two together and starting the stopwatch. The cross almost instantly disappears, and you stop the stopwatch. We can repeat now for a range of temperatures recording the temperature and the time on each occasion.
And these are the results for temperature and time of reaction. You could use these to draw a graph to find the rate of reaction at different temperatures. So, in conclusion, the rate of the thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid reaction increases with increasing temperature. And, as we said, the rate at a particular temperature can be determined from the gradient of a tangent drawn to the curve of the graph. And that's it. Thank you for listening.